Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a fantastic new Dollar Tree haul for you today and I'm super excited to share. Um, I got mixed seasons. I'm wearing my Witch's Brew sweatshirt with my Drink Up Grinch's coffee. Guys, I'm all over the place seasonally and most of this stuff is going to be for the holidays. So I thought I would get a video out and share it with you today. All right, let's get started. First and foremost, I picked up some ornaments in pink and gold because I'm going to be building and I will make a video of it. I'm building an arch for my work desk that will sit on either side of my monitors and go up and over that I can hang garland on for Christmas and I'm going to light it up. And I bought some ornaments, but I'm going to need a ton. So I grabbed the gold and pink sets. Um, I'm going gold, pink, and mint green. I'm doing like a Cindy Lou Who situation at the office. Like a Grinchy theme on my desk. So I got that. Um, I also picked up at the same time another one of these. I have one. These were $3. But I think I can do this and I'm going to paint these like mint green and gold and then I can wire it into the garland and have the reindeer going over my desk so I thought that was fun I think yeah they all will come off oops um oh here we go this is how I wanted it to look please hold there we go and then I can glue this or wire it down and there's no stick. So I grab these to rip apart basically. Um, I gotta save all these bags. I grabbed this basket. So I'm doing an advent calendar for Sarah's boyfriend, Michael. And I'm gonna put in here his stuff because it's kind of masculine. But then I thought he could also use this for um, he stuff at his apartment or house. So I'm gonna use that for an advent calendar for him. And I'm just putting candies and stuff in it for, for him. Um, if you're looking for gift basket ideas, this is, I found a bunch of these. Mini oven mitt with grip. And the brand is Sultan's Linen. So this is definitely, I'm thinking a carryover from Bed Bath & Beyond. But I love these oven mitts, and these would make a fantastic addition to any gift basket. If you're doing something like um, cookies in a jar or giving anybody kind of cookie stuff, you could do a cookie sheet with these and a um, spatula, and that would be really cool. And for $1.25, that is a great price. I use these all the time. And I love that they have the silicone grippy. I just bought the one to show you, but they had several at my store that I was at this morning. I bought this. It is a bookkeeper's notebook. And I really thought it would be cool for my channel when I'm making all these expenses if I need to jot things down before I transfer it over to a spreadsheet. So it's just a book. They're calling it a columnar pad. Um, and what you would do is do your expenses. It's a, an accounting tracking system. But I thought that was really neat to find for one shiny dollar and 25 cents. All right, here we go. I found these at my store. They had them in both sizes. These small little ones come in a two pack. And I use these all the time, guys. They're reusable uh, little sandwich bags. The only thing I wish is they had a gusset at the bottom and they don't. So if it had a gusset, you could get down in there, but I use these um, for my lunches all the time. So I grab this print and then a two pack of this, which I think is great because they're not, you know, I don't have to throw them away. Um, I grabbed this. I want to take it with me. I'm headed out tonight to get my... Um, stuff that I made at my pottery class. I don't know if this is too big to sit my ghost over to light up, but I thought this was really neat. I don't wanna put a real candle in it. 
so my thought is I will, if this is too big, because it might be too big up here, I'll get a smaller one, but I'm taking that with me. I'm getting ready to go here shortly. Um, I found these cough drops in sugar-free. So I don't know if I can't remember if they have the cherry, but I like to grab these, even if I'm not sick, sick in the winter time with my sinuses, my throat gets a little sore and I always like to keep these on hand and these are not bad. They're very much taste-wise equivalent to a Ricola and you get 25 drops. So this is how you know it's the sugar-free ones because there's less count and up here, instead of a dark gray, it's a lighter gray that says um, sugar-free. So I grabbed a bag, it was the first one I've seen of the season. Um, I grabbed some purple yarn. I wanna make um, some Halloween crochet and I didn't have this color purple, which I think is fantastic. I love that color. So I grabbed that and then I picked up a box of these. Being diabetic, I use alcohol wipes fairly regularly, especially when I change my Dexcom or when I take my shots every day. And this is a fantastic deal for a dollar twenty-five. So I'll put these in the bag over here of stuff that needs to go up to my office or my bathroom. Or my bathroom. I have so much stuff, guys. So much stuff. Um, okay, in this box here, let's put this here for a second. Oh, I am going to a craft fair this weekend to um my Sarah's going to sell crafts or books, I think. I'm gonna be in Zanesville. You, uh, the weekend will have already passed when you see this. But I'm bringing my planners to sell and my stickers, so I'm not sure which one I'll use, but one of these will hold, I don't think this opens up. Yeah, it's got, it's stuck. But I got these two easels to hold my planner upright. I'm hoping that it works on this, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be floppy. And then I got for my sticker packs, this smaller one. So they are coordinating in color. Um, but like I said, I may have to put a piece of like cardboard behind it or something. I'll see. I could honestly put that book up behind it, something like that. And then put my planner in front of it just so it's upright and as a display. But if that doesn't work, I think this one will. This one is the clear plastic. Let's put this stuff away, shall we? Now, for my decorations for my desk at work, I'm going with like the pink, the gold, the silver, and the mint green. And I got this paint um, to use for the green. I can use it on here and do maybe like pink ears or something. I don't know. But I grabbed this. And this is just Arc um, Acrylogy. It's like acrylic, premium acrylic paint, but you get a ton of it. And they have, I got it in silver and gold as well. So for these, I can paint them up and everything will match. And I'm sure I have pink paint in this house somewhere. Fun thing, this is metal that holds the reindeer up. It's not a wooden dowel. I don't know why I find that bizarre, but I do. Um, let's not put that in there. Okay, but we can put that in there. I'm putting things away, guys. All right, here we go. So I think I have all my mugs now because I got one more of the Home Sweet Gnome. I got one more of the Bed and Breakfast North Pole. And I got a gnome because isn't that adorable? Yes. So I think I have enough mugs for all my um, office mates. And I'm going to be putting out a video, you may have already seen it, from Marshall's that I got some stuff for these little gift bags. So there's that. Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm dying. So I grabbed another one of these containers, which I love these containers for storage. They are airtight and they make great storage for, well, cookies, but also any really holiday treat. Um, I love that they are airtight and they seal, but you can also use them for like, for me, I may end up using this to store my Christmas stickers in for my planner or any type of Christmas 
um, garlands and things that I use for crafting up in my office. But this is the theme that I'm kind of going with right here. This color scheme for my desk. It feels very Whoville to me, guys. Um, and then I grabbed four of these. I'm going to tape them to a poster board or to a um, foam core and use it for product pictures. Because it looks like a wooden floor. And I needed something to take pictures on for my Etsy shop. So I thought that would be a good plan of attack. Ooh, hold on. Don't look at this blanket. It's from my Marshalls haul. It's everything, guys. First of all, it's cats in teacups with candy canes. I'm dying. Oh, I love it. You'll see it in my Marshalls haul, or you already saw it. I'm just trying to make some room back here. Okay. Um, this is new to me this year at my stores. I don't know if it's a new design, um, but it just says the most wonderful time of the year. It's a one of these satiny placemats, which you can also pick out the thread, stuff it, and make yourself a pillow. I don't because I have so many pillows, but I grabbed this to put on potentially my coffee station at work, but I also got, I was looking to see if anything was over there. I also got 100% for my coffee station at work, these. I use these to put my coffee makers on and at the office I put a Keurig on it. I put um, our tea kettle. And then I have one for like coffee and stuff. So it doesn't get too messy over there. But I thought this is fun. I love plaid. And it all goes together. It was very coordinating set. So maybe this will get hung like on the back or a sidewall. And these will lay on the thing. I use an, an empty desk <laughs> for that all. Um, oh. Here we go. I bought walnuts for baking. I just feel like this is a good deal when I don't make large batches, but I do in the holidays make a shortbread cookie with almond flour and you put walnuts in it. And so this is plenty of, it's baking nuts. This is two and a half ounces. So it's a half a cup of nuts. And no recipe that I have calls for more than a half a cup of anything. So this is price effective for me because that is what I will use. Um, let's do our thumbnail, shall we? Let's do these. These are bright and cheery. Ooh, let me move the blanket. I gotta hide the black cat. Thumbnail. Um, Okay, for, I don't know if I showed you these or not. For the gift baskets that I'm doing, I have some folks that drink coffee. Um, everybody's getting hot cocoa, but the coffee drinkers are definitely getting these. This is Harry and David. It's a four pack. You get a regular Northwest blend, a hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. Um, I believe one of each in here. We should open one and see. These are K-Cups. So you get the Northwest Blend. Northwest Blend. Okay, they're all Northwest Blends. So these must be all be Northwest Blend. I'm confuzzled. Unless they had varieties and I only got the Northwest. Unless it is a blend of hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. I don't know. Um, it's a medium roast. I think it is a blend of hazelnut, praline, and cinnamon. So it's like a fall blend. Whatever. Way too much time. I got four of them to share at the office. Um, Harry and David is a great brand, by the way. They are distributed here in Ohio or one of their distributors by me. Great brand, and they make a lot of gift basket stuff. So whenever you find it, it makes it definitely elevates any gift basket or thing like that to the next level. I mean, I still have this cup sitting here. So in a bag, you know, maybe they're getting a coffee, a coffee cup, and then some treats in here. 
for my giving of the beginning of the holiday season. This is not Christmas. It is holiday. Okay. I think we're good now. I have one more bag. Oh, I also got this to take to the office and it just says gnome for the holidays. So we have a towel. It's adorable. I clearly went with a gnome theme to decorate the coffee station. Um, we just have a couple more things here. Um, I believe we've all seen these mugs a hundred times. That's the bed and breakfast. Yeah. And I got one more hot cocoa served here. So everybody's getting a mug. Now, curious. I mean, that does fit inside there. But probably, depending on the bag size, it may go right down next to it. And then I'll fill all the candy. Or the people who are getting the coffee, coffee will go in here. And then the candy all around. I hope I will bring you along when I'm stuffing all these bags. So I have to make... 14, I believe. And then the last, no, not quite. Two things I have. Um, this double stick tape is fantastic for crafting. If you're making gift cards or anything where you want to tape paper to other paper. So I have found that if I tape paper, if I use glue for craft paper on top of like cardboard, it bubbles, but the tape does not. Now this is kind of thin. Um, I did purchase a one inch wide, but this, I get this for the smaller things, but it's great. Now they do have some that come three packs. Those are puffy. It's, um, yeah, it's a puffy sticky and it makes it bump out. I don't want that. I want flat. So I grabbed that. And then this is hot cocoa that everybody's getting. This is not from the Dollar Tree. It's from our regular grocery store. There are 18 packets in here. My coworker who drinks this says this is the best, which is the dark chocolate. She said it's much more rich than the milk chocolate and she loves it. So, um, that's what I did. I grabbed two so everybody can have one hot chocolate. And I will show you this again when I do the Marshall's Hall because I got some things to go with it or you've already seen it because I did the Marshall's Hall. Questionable, really. I mean, that is everything. I'm getting ready to head out and go to the pottery studio and pick up my haunted pottery stuff that I made. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.